Okay, uh, so in order to get a nice HDRIs, uh, there are a couple of sites uh, that I actually use a lot to get them. Uh, one of them is this site. You can just uh, copy the the address. Uh, it has uh, pretty nice results. Yeah, and this is actually an opportunity for me to show you and to explain you what an HDRI does. An HDRI basically uh, provides the illumination but affects the environment as if our model actually were in that site. For example, I have these uh, images that I uh, uh, saved when I was uh, setting the image for the first time, setting the scene for the first time. This is the same scene. Uh, as you can see, the complete uh, mood of the of the render is kind of blue, kind of uh, cold, uh, because the illumination is coming from a place like that. I mean, you can see here in the reflection how uh, this wall is actually reflecting the concrete here, and the this part of the wall is reflecting, and the floor too is reflecting the environment. So we have uh, a render with this kind of bluish mood. In this case, well, I want to make a bluish render because I already selected my background and it is this one so we're gonna get to it a little bit later so you can download uh, the HDRIs from here you can see a preview of the HDRI in this case for example this uh, forest uh, HDRIs well you have to know that if you uh, set the background uh, uh, HDRI and you apply this bitmap there then you will have uh, these trees as a reflection. You can also use, just for example, the the global illumination uh, using an HDRI, and you can uh, set your background, uh, or you can just turn it off or something, and then you will not have reflections, but you will have the illumination coming from your HDRI. So uh, another uh, site where I download them uh, is from here. Uh, HDRI, HDR Labs, I'm sorry, and it's a pretty nice uh, site. You can find a lot of HDRIs, so you don't have to wait for me or for anybody else to be uploading them. Uh, these guys sell a really nice product, and they uh, come with this idea uh, that you don't need uh, high quality images for your environment and for your background, uh, you just need a, a high definition. Uh, image for your background and you need an, uh, a low uh, resolution image for your illumination. In this case, we're not even gonna use the background, so I don't care if this is blurry or not, of if there's a ship uh, behind or I don't know, uh, a pterodactyl or anything like that. It's not uh, of my care. So, because in the end I can save it as a PNG image and we will not have the background there, we just we will just have the transparencies. So next thing I want to show you is how to rotate the HDRIs because it is kind of hard. Okay, as you can see uh, we have this uh, reference here, uh, this little thing here is here at my render. So I want you to remember what it is, uh, it is uh, basically uh, here uh, on tops of my painting. So I'm going to go to, in my options, I'm going to go to environment, and then I'm going to rotate. I'm not going to rotate uh, the GI uh, HDRI jet, uh, but I'm just going to rotate this. Look at this. Um, we have these rotation options, which is everything we have. Um, I'm going to rotate it just 10 degrees so you can see the result and we don't get lost on the, uh, on the render. So illumination is going to be the same, uh, just remember where this is. Now I'm going to hit the render button and I'm going to pause the video again. Okay, so here's the render. Uh, you remember this uh, thing here was right here before. Uh, the 10 degrees that I moved, that I changed in the rotation of the HDRI in the background settings, um, moved the environment, the complete image, uh, this this much. So these are basically the 10 degrees of the image. So what we're going to do, uh, for example, we're going to go ag again to uh, background and we're going to change this, I don't know, something like 
75 uh, just as example and I'm also gonna go here and I'm gonna change this 75 degrees so I'm gonna hit the render button again and let's see what happens okay this is the result so the complete scene uh, is kind of dark it's like in a night scene because of the HDRI uh, so what we're gonna do well I'm gonna go uh, to my image and I'm gonna rotate it uh, in order to get the bluish part uh, coming from this part and I also want it to be brighter so I already made this one so I don't have to waste uh, I don't have to make so many uh, uh, tests so I'm just gonna go again to the GI I'm gonna change the rotation to 200 uh, again I have this image here so I can know where to rotate it from the model is always going to be right here at the middle so uh, the same thing goes for here so I rotate it 200 degrees and I can increase the multiplier if you increase the multiplier uh, in this case well I could try with something like two uh, maybe three well but I already made this uh, and I'm going to go to 16 and for this I'm going to go to 415 so with this uh, what I want is to get the bluish color uh, of the sea so in the end when I will be uh, making my, my post-production the background is gonna blend a, a little bit more with my illumination of the uh, scene because it's going to be kind of bluish so I'm gonna hit the render button again okay so as you can see uh, render is about to finish and illumination is much better now it's not just uh, brighter but it has this uh, bluish tint uh, which will uh, blend uh, much easier in the post-production stage with our background uh, you see how uh, well my intention was to make this scene uh, look a little bit like it comes like it has its illumination because of the the place where it is so it's pretty good for now the rest is just going to be post-production so uh, illumination with HDRIs is something uh, I like to do a lot uh, I have actually a few examples here uh, for this scene I used uh, the same HDRI uh, well in this case I used this uh, image here, the background, all the trees are actually the background uh, uh, image I used for the HDRI. Um, well, as you can see, you, we can have uh, pretty nice reflections uh, coming right from the HDRI and we don't have to use the rest of the HDRI. I mean, in this case, just this part of the rendering comes from the HDRI. The rest is the background that I used in Photoshop. So it's same thing again and um, it's just reflecting here this little part of the pavement of the pavement I'm, I'm sorry and the rest is just the background uh, well in this case I use one of the new uh, HDRIs this one didn't have so much resolution but it's a pretty nice result and the same thing goes for this actually this uh, HDRI is the same one that I'm using right now the difference of colors comes just from Photoshop this thing again and again this is one of the HDRIs that I downloaded from the first site that I showed you so we have our illumination already and we're gonna start working with our materials again uh, we're gonna have a pretty nice results with the reflections because the materials are not just going to reflect the the simple sky of the uh, of V-Ray but it's going to uh, reflect some of the clouds, some of the sea, uh, and all of those things. So, the uh, next thing uh, we have to work with is the material editing. Uh, 